Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corbett, and welcome back to some more EU4 Nation speed forming, where I put my skills to the test and try to form nations as fast as possible. If that sort of thing interests you, then go ahead and subscribe because I've made a couple so far, and I plan to make a couple more. And if I reach 25k and I'm still doing this for some reason, then I'll try to attempt one of the harder ones like the Roman Empire or the Mongol Empire. And if we could get the video to 500 likes, that would be great. And although this isn't an actual speedrun attempt, this is just for entertainment purposes, I will still be preserving the game by playing in Iron Man. So let's begin. Now, this might be the fastest nation speed forming I will ever do on this channel, because forming Persia as a jam is, to put it lightly, well, ludicrously easy. In fact, we just need three provinces, Shiraz, Yazd, and Kerman. And since Fars is a vassal under the Timurids, that means we only have to fight one war. Granted, we do have to win the war, and it's somewhat difficult considering the Timurids still hold control over all of their subjects for now. I still think it's possible through the use of a ridiculous amount of debt, lots of mercenaries, and a little bit of suffering. So let's get started. I'll start with tax farming for some money, and let's sort out the estates. Expansionist zealotry will be useful in the beginning, and this is what they'll look like when we're done. We don't really have to give the dimmy anything. And I decided to take these monopolies because I'm probably not going to be playing this for more than 10 years. And in about two and a half years, I'll be able to take some loans from the merchants as well. So we should be set for money. The merchants are in the right position. So I'll grab a spy network on the Timurids. And of course, I'm going to rival them as well. Before I go to war though, there are a couple of things I'm going to need to do. Namely this mission and this mission. So I can start off by hopefully rolling well for a general. And good enough. And I also have to improve relations with my subjects. And I'll have to wait a couple of months for a little bit of manpower. Okay, I think we're just about ready to hire some mercs as well. And I can go ahead and insult the Timurids as well, which will complete this mission for me. And that gives me claims down in Fars, which I'm going to need to start a war. Oh, well there you go, that does make things a little bit easier. And in about seven months or so, I'll also have enough manpower to give myself this mission. But I do want to get this war started as soon as possible, so instead of waiting, I'm going to hire a couple of mercs. Now, this stack has a three siege general, which should make things much easier for us. There is a slight problem, the fact that Jeanpour will join, uh, but hopefully it's nothing too bad. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, emergency plan. They seem to be attacking me on this mountain's fort, uh, which is pretty bad. So I'm going to fire this manpower advisor, which will reduce my manpower enough to give me this, which will give me more morale of armies. And they'll be attacking there in March, which means they should be able to recover a slight little bit of morale. I did go ahead and boost my morale with a bunch of different bonuses, so hopefully we'll be able to win with just that. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that was easy. Yikes. Soul-crushing defeat for the Timurids. Now, to take Yazd and Kerman, the other two provinces I need, I'm probably going to have to siege down Bam. So, let's get started. And let's clean up the rest of the Timurid stacks. Just like that. And Mazandaran wants to rent Kondotieri out to me, which is cute. I think we'll be okay. Wait a second, how did you get here from here that quickly. That's kind of confusing. And annoying. Really? Another mountain battle? Those are pretty costly battles, but at least they're bad at fighting. There we go, the Siege of Bam is over as well. So now all we have to do is grab a little bit of war score. Now, I have no idea how, but I didn't even realize that Yazd was actually a fort in the first place. Well, that's a little bit awkward. Wait a second. Actually, I don't think this was here before. Am I going crazy? Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know. Well, it looks like we're doing okay for battles so far. Unfortunately, someone won a 7% siege of my capital, which really sucks, but uh, we can take care of that later. In any case, this one province should be fairly easy to defend for a while, especially if I go ahead and scorch it. There we go, the capital's been retaken. And now we wait, or something like that. Oh, the AI has really no idea how bad of a plan this is. You see, I actually scorched that, so no one's coming to help you. And rip. Oof. Hey boys, how's the war feeling? Not that great, I'd imagine. 
And this should be the last of the Jean Poor men. Now isn't that a beautiful sight to see? Well, this war is over with, so I'll be taking these provinces. Thank you very much. Wait a second, who the hell are you? Where did you come from? Well, this will slow things down a little bit. And just in case that war was gonna go any longer, I actually decided to invest a little bit in uh, Miltech, so, um... Well, that would have made things easier. Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Speaking of this point, and, you know, all that, um, there's actually nothing left for me to do right now except for, uh, wait on speed 5, so I'll see you in a couple minutes. Or a couple of seconds through the power of editing. Man, I really wish the 11th of November was the day that I formed Persia, but I guess it'll have to be the next day. Well, in reality, it would have been a couple months earlier if it weren't for that random rebel stack, but whatever. Anyway, here we are, forming Persia in 1450 as a gem. That's pretty quick and easy. Um, I mean, Persia's a great country to play as, they have a bunch of ideas and all that stuff. And uh, out of every single nation I'm going to be forming, out of my great list of many nations I have yet to form, this will probably be the easiest one, unless I pick Iceland or something, I don't know. But thank you very much for watching, make sure to let me know what nation you want me to form in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a dislike if you disliked it. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give an extra special thank you to all of the kind people over on Patreon. Starting with those we have in the general tier, Quiet Guy, Brennan Arsenault, Ben Greenhagen, Torvald, Dire Avenger, and Farron. Those in the Prince tier, Snow Raven, Rockbox2020, Robert Kaleno, and Bouncer Steve. In the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot and Natsuki. In the Elector tier, we have TFLJ Martis. And in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, we have The Watcher. Thank you guys so much for your pledges this month, I really appreciate it. And I just can't thank you enough.